Many of you who had a chance to uh, watch the 66 team inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame uh, last Friday night on ESPN Classic saw this man on the podium representing the uh, 66 team. And I am talking about uh, former minor uh, forward uh, Harry Flournoy, who joins us from his home in California. And Harry, uh, first off, uh, great to have you back on Sports Talk in El Paso. Uh, is it safe to say right now that uh, we have uh, written the uh, the final chapter to the uh, incredible story of the '66 team? I don't know. You know, you know, you you never know what the future holds. It, it, this might just be. Um, it might be another chapter to be uh, written on this, but. We'll have to just wait and see. I'll say this. It was probably the icing on the cake because with everything that you and your teammates have been through over the last couple of years with um, Glory Road and everything that surrounded it, it's a fitting way to uh, to kind of, uh, you know, end this story in uh, Springfield with uh, your team being the first ever uh, college basketball team having been inducted into the Hall. Yes, you know, and, and when you think about it, we may be the last. And, and, and yes, this has been a, a ride that has been tremendous. It's, it's like on a, on a roller coaster where you just keep going up. We haven't come down yet. We're still going up. We go up any higher, we're going to need oxygen masks. <laughs> Tell me what it was like for you um, in this latest, uh, you know, in, in, in really uh, Springfield, the hall, being with the rest of the class. So what was that experience like for you personally? Well, first of all, it was just a tremendous honor to be the one that represented a great group of guys. And then when you got there and you saw all these NBA greats and all these college greats, these uh, tremendous coaches, and, and, and you found out how – how nice they were, well, most of them were, I should say. And, and it was a tremendous honor. It was, it was awesome. I was, I was sitting there just awestruck, and I was in another world, it seemed like. It was the greatest honor that has ever happened in, in my life. How did you become the spokesman? Was there a vote uh, by the team? Uh, yes, and, and, I was, and they, since I was one of the captains, uh, uh, they asked me if I would do it. I mean, it could have went to uh, Jerry Armstrong, who, who would have done a tremendous job. It could have went to Orson Arnes, who would have done a, a tremendous job. But uh, they felt as if one of the captains should have uh, done it, so I was the one that they chose. Well, all I know is this. Uh, I, I had a chance to talk to Joe Gomez um, who you included in your induction speech uh, on Friday night. And we had Joe on from Springfield, and he told me that uh, the schedule that they had for you and your teammates was, I mean, it was so uh, time-consuming that from when you arrived in Springfield, uh, you guys didn't have much time to sleep. No, no, it, they had us on, on a real tight schedule. And as it turned out, um, with everybody that was there, all those people that were inducted into the Hall of Fame Friday that we were the ones that people were, were most interested in seeing, most interested in talking to, most interested in, in interviewing. And, and it was just, it was quite an honor for us. And I'm tired now, but, but it's a good tired. Did you get an opportunity to uh, mingle with some of the uh, other Hall of Famers? Yes, I did. I, I got an opportunity to talk to a lot of them, John Havlicek, I talked to Bill Sharman, I had a lengthy talk with. Um, I talked to uh, Walt Bellamy. Uh, it was a, a ton of them that I had an opportunity to sit down and talk to, and, and they're very nice people. How about, uh, and, and as we continue, folks, here with uh, Harry Flournoy from the, the Texas Western 66 Championship team, uh, your teammates, having seen their reactions and, and, and watching some of their uh, expressions on their face when they were taking all this in, uh, you know, how, did you, uh, how did you get a chance to, to react to seeing that also from your teammates? Well, that, that was special to, to watch the faces of some of those guys. And, you know, uh, all of us, deserved it. When you think about that, you understand, and I hope people understand that when you work as a unit, when you work together to accomplish a common goal, the good comes about for everybody that's involved in that. From the first guy to the 12th guy, good comes about for every last one of us. And it was an honor, and it was a pleasure, and it was a joy just to see that. 
Now, I understand, uh, although the ceremonies that were televised were Friday night, you uh, had a, uh, a parade in Springfield on Saturday morning and then were also presented uh, with your Hall of Fame rings as well. Oh, that was outstanding. Yeah, yeah we had a, a police escort from our hotel to the Hall of Fame. And then uh, uh, when we got there, we had a, a brief interview, and then we were presented with our rings to the Hall of Fame. They are gorgeous. How about uh, seeing uh, part of the hall now that has your team, yourself and your teammates inducted? Is that the kind of feeling that just gives you goosebumps when you actually see the part of the Hall of Fame that's devoted to you guys? It is. You know, uh, we had already had, we were already there, but not as a, uh, a hall member. Uh, we had been there as, as being what we, uh, as accomplishing the thing that we did in 1966, but being an actual member and knowing that people can go there from now until eternity, and we will be there. It's like having everlasting life. That's a great, uh, that is a, a great comparison right now as we continue here with uh, Harry Flournoy joining us uh, on Sports Talk. Uh, Coach Haskins obviously uh, wasn't in attendance, although I'll say this. Even if I, I think uh, that Coach could travel a little easier uh, now than he actually can, I still don't know if he would have made the trip, Harry, because I really think that uh, the Bear wanted this to be about you guys and not necessarily about him. Exactly, and and that's exactly what it was. I. I understood him because, you know, I, I had talked to him, and I kind of know him. And, and, and I'll tell you this, you know, my, my mother had a special respect for Don Haskins, as I do, because he gave me an opportunity. And he wanted it to be about those 12 guys who went out there and put it all on the line day in, day out. And he didn't want anything to reflect upon him. But you have to give him credit for getting us ready to do what we did. I mean, he was the one that, that groomed us. He was the one that worked us. He was the, the one that, that gave us that de determination and that discipline in order to do what we did that year. Did you have one particular moment uh, from your uh, trip to uh, Springfield that really stood out uh, among everything else? Well, you know, to be honest with you, uh, one thing that really stood out for me is, you know, I, I got there a, a few days earlier, and I was born in Fall River, Massachusetts. And I had, we left there when I was less than a year old, and I had an opportunity by going back there to go to my birth city, and it was, it was awesome for me. So the whole weekend was awesome. That was a special mo moment for me because now I understand why my father and my mother loved Fall River so much, loved New Bedford, which, which is only seven miles from Fall River, so much. It was just outstanding. It was a, a moment that brought tears to my eyes. Harry, what's next for you and for this team? Since uh, you've been doing so much, uh, again, over a very short amount of time, uh, what do you think uh, could be uh, your next project? Uh, what I would like to do is I would like to get out and talk to people about our experience, talk to people about uh, the things that can make this country a much better country, the things that will include every citizen of this country in the working of this country. And I would like to, to, to get out and try to get rid of certain phrases that we use in this country, like the first Hispanic to, the first black to, the first female to. I would like to get rid of that, just that the person that's best for that job or that position or to do this thing that should be all it is, that the person that has the talent, the will, and the drive to do. That should be all that it is. The outside of a person shouldn't matter. It's the inside of that person that should matter. Well said. Harry, great uh, getting a chance to catch up with you as always. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll look forward to keeping in touch and uh, talking to you again down the road here on Sports Talk. My pleasure, and, I, and my phone line is always open. There you go, folks. And Plus, I'd like to thank the people of El Paso because they had a big – part of this. Those are the best fans in the world. I understand that uh, you had a nice little group that uh, made the trip out to Springfield oh, yes. and joined you for it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's great. Harry, take care of yourself. Thanks again. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.